Hello, this is Launchpad's answering machine, which is a machine that answers the phone. It'll beep, and you leave a message, if you want. No biggie. Hi, Launchpad, it's you, Launchpad. What if hands were feet, and feet were hands? Would your foot hands still smell worse than your hand feet? Call me to discuss. Here on This Duckburg Life, I'm always going out into Duckburg looking for great stories. But sometimes, the best stories land right on your personal pilot's answering machine. Hi, Launchpad. It's me, Launchpad. Couple things, pick up butter, eggs, jet fuel, but for airplanes, milk, oh, and toilet paper. Definitely get toilet paper. This is the kind of message Launchpad leaves for himself. Hi, Launchpad. It's Launchpad. Are you there? I really need to talk to you. Note to self, go home and listen to your messages. It's urgent. Today's episode is comprised entirely of messages on Launchpad's machine. From Duckburg Public Radio, it's This Duckburg Life. I'm Huey Duck. Hold on to your tails. Act one, life after the beep. Hey, Launchpad, it's Dewey. Louie and I are at Bunzo scoring a new record at Euchrepuke. Come check it out. Launchpad? Hi, it's Louie. Dewey just got kicked out of Funzo's after losing at Euchre Puke and attacking the game. Can you pick us up? And hurry, because I can hear the sirens already. Okay, bye! Hey, so there's a Beagle Boy van waiting on the pier, and one thing on my to-don't list is to get kidnapped. So we'll get a ride from that ride app, App Ride, and we'll see you at home. Bye-bye! Launchpad, it's Louie. Turns out our app ride driver is a beagle boy. So, we've been kidnapped. Can you, like, come save our lives? Thanks. Launchpad, Dewey here. I just had a good talk with our driver, made some real progress in terms of what he's about, what we're about, you get it. Headline is, he's not going to kidnap us. And the other headline is, he's taking us to the diner. So, meet us there. Launchpad, it's Louie again. We've been abducted after all. The diner was a lie. Big Time's getting a real bad rating on App Ride. Zero out of ten would not do again. Well, we're at the junkyard. Uh, the Beagle Boys are working on a ransom note. They had a bunch of letters cut out for magazines in an envelope just for this. And I just saw Bouncer mail the envelope. Bouncer! Okay, I'll call you back when we bust out of here. Bye-bye. A normal day. You go to Funzo's. You get kidnapped by the Beagle Boys. But what followed was not a normal day. Keep a hold of your tales, because in Act 2, you'll find out just how not normal it got when our program continues. Hey, everyone! Webby Vanderquack here. Have you always dreamed of petting a dragon, or cuddling a werewolf, or caressing the soft, slimy scales of a Mongolian death worm? Well, now you can at McDuck Manor Petting Zoo! I have tamed over a dozen mythical monsters and transported them here to Uncle Scrooge's backyard! And as long as you carefully follow my instructions, meeting them should be totally safe. Uncle Donald, never stare a shape-shifting demon in the eyes! <laughs> so come on down to McDuck Manor Petting Zoo, where the only thing scary is too much cuteness! Act two, out of the frying pan. Again, all documented on an answering machine. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Mr. Launchpad. I have your ducks. Let's talk about a ransom. Uh, big time. Why are you talking into that paper bag? I'm disguising my voice, dummy. I'm doing ransom stuff. <clears throat> anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Big time Beagle here. You tell Scrooge McDuck that we stole those kids. And if he ever wants to see him again, he better bring all his gold to the junkyard. <laughs> Launchpad. We were just escaping from the Beagle Boys when we saw a room full of stolen junk they stole. You know that one artifact that was a jewel-encrusted hand? You know the hand of Hammurabi? They stole it! We're gonna steal it back. Meet us outside the junkyard, okay? It's me again. Big time. You better pay up. We definitely still have the kids. There's no way I would be lying about it. It'd be too easy to prove it's a lie. Therefore, I have the kids. So, pay up. Okay, so Louis swiped the hand of Hammurabi, and we're on our way. Oh, okay, the hand is glowing and flickering. Now the walls are flickering, that's weird. Now everything is flickering, and I feel funny. Uh, we're in Tibet. 
turns out. And uh, the hand is a magical relic. And then when it's stolen three times, I guess it returns to this Tibetan den of thieves with whatever other loot is around. But in this case, the loot was us. Also, you know those curvy swords? They're called scimitars. Yeah, they're called scimitars. I'm dropping you a pin on the map app. Find us quickly, please. I am freaking out. Turns out the thieves thanked us for bringing back their hand. They're celebrating right now with a ping pong tournament. Oh, I love ping pong. Still waiting on that ransom. Oh, and if you should happen to see the kids, you should still consider them took. We are doing a free range kidnapping. Dewey whooped the captain of thieves in ping pong and then rubbed it in his face. So they are planning to feed us to their monster god, a worm tar. It's a half man, half worm, and the worm half isn't the half that you would think. Dewey dropped you a pin of our location. Also, use the plane, not the car on this one, because Tibet, so, you know. Hurry or we could flat out die. Hi there, it's me, Webby, again with McDuck Manor Petting Zoo. Have you always wanted to bottle feed a mythical beast? Well, good news for you. I just rescued this cute little baby griffin from the Red Sea Mountains. Uh, what's that circling in the sky? Aw, the mama griffin found her baby. Run! Ah! McDuck Manor Petting Zoo! Current we closed until further notice! We've arrived at the final act of our program. Act three. Nobody flat out dies. So... Hi, uh, Dewey here. We didn't die at all. Uh, the monster's mouth was a portal, of course. Uh, the portal sent us into some kind of extra-dimensional crazy space. Everything is white here. I'm talking about completely white. You have no idea. Depth is weird. Okay, I I'm going to see about dropping a pin. Dewey dropped a pin, but according to the map, it's just white emptiness, but with a pin in it. If anyone can find us, it's you, Launchpad. Please, somebody find us! <laughs> Things are starting to get... Very weird here. I'm stretching, but also, at the same time, I'm made of rocks. Oh, and Louie's a mule now. Well, keep you posted. There's an entity coming. Some kind of thing that's more than a thing. It's everywhere. I don't know how I know this, but I suddenly know this. This dimension is this thing. So, hurry up. I don't know how I know this either, but this thing is going to ask us a riddle and we better know the answer to it or else. Oh, here it is, it's here. Oh, it's beautiful. Hey, beauty, can I ask a question? If we're in a nowhere dimension, how come we have such great cell phone reception? So oh, hey, uh, Launchpad, it's uh, big time again. <laughs> Are we calling you too much? I, I feel like we're calling you too much. And I definitely feel like you are not calling us enough. So just pass the ransom! So, the entity counted Dewey's question about cell phone reception as a riddle. It didn't know the answer, and so it offered us a prize. Anything we wanted in the universe. All right, bye. We should have asked for superpowers! We should have asked for a million more wishes! We should have asked for a million more genies! And after all that, we wish to go back to your place so you wouldn't have to go anywhere to get us. That's us at the door, the knocking sound. That's us knocking. Uh, hello? Launchpad, it's us. Let us in. Hello? Oh, make yourself at home. I'll be right back. I have to go pick you guys up from Funzo's. And he would have, if they were still there. Was this a wild adventure or just another day in this Duckburg life? Some would say both. I'd agree with them. For this Duckburg life, this is Huey Duck. You can let go of your tails now. Hey, it's Webby! So, things didn't work out with McDuck Manor Petting Zoo, but great news! I now have monsters up for adoption! I got a bunch of centaurs in need of their forever home, and nothing will protect their property like a dragon! Ugh, nice me back, mates. What did all these creatures do to me back now? Ah! Here, Uncle Donald, read this. Okay, here we My big chance to be on the podcast. Oh, I'm just a dancing the credits. This Dead Bird Live is a production of Dead Bird Public Radio. Staff includes Kido Gizano, Dan 
Oh, my God. 